Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. We know that on Shabbos, one of the halachas that we're very careful with is the halachas of Hilchas Muktzah. And there are many categories of Muktzah. There's Muktzah Machmas Mius, Muktzah Machmas Chsor and Kis, Kalisha Malach Dil Iser. We have, when you learn Hilchas Muktzah and Simen Shin Ches and Erechayim and Hilchas Shabbos, it's a long sif with many, many details. A long simon with many, many details. Pesach, which is a yontif, and every year Pesach, at least one or two days of the Pesach, falls out in Shabbos. So there are some issues of muktzah that you have to be very careful with on Pesach, especially the days that it's Shabbos. And why am I bringing this up? Because due to the many chumras that people take upon themselves to be machmir, makpid, on Pesach, the, the menu of foods that people eat during Pesach becomes, depending on how much you machmer, less and less. But the most common food that almost everybody uh, eats, because there's very little put into it, is that basically the sheer minimum is potatoes. Everybody would have, as far as I know, many people will just boil up a potato, and potatoes, they'll, if you want to put in oil, you don't want to put in oil, you want to put in salt, that's extra. But plain, uh, plain potatoes, there's nothing really going in, in into it. And the question is, uh, and people do eat it on Pesach, as, as strict as they may be. No, no problem of chametz, correct? But let's talk about a raw potato. A raw potato and yontif is no big deal. You, because on yontif, you're allowed to cook it. So if you're allowed to cook it, if you get hungry on yontif, you'll take a raw potato, potato peel it or don't peel it, you know, and you just boil it up. No problem. And ask your son to hate. On Shabbos, you cannot cook. So the question is, if you cannot cook and this potato is not going to be eaten today, does that put the status of the potato as muktzah? Because it cannot be used. Is that true? Is a potato not cooked, not usable? So let me let me summarize as the Shulchan Aruch in Simen Shin Ches talks about issues like this. Issues of foods or items that eventually is very much usable. And if it's usable, it's not mukta. Mukta means it's set aside and you didn't think to use it. But then there are foods that as is, it's inedible, you can't eat it. If you do something to it, i.e., let's talk about a potato, it's, uh, it's common practice, others, uh, others challenges. But it's not, it's very not usual for anybody to eat a raw potato. Not only it's not usual for people to not to eat uh, raw potatoes, it is unusual for animals to eat raw potatoes. Because if it would be common for as pet food, then just for that alone, it doesn't become muktzah. In Shulchan Aruch it says that only a food item that's not usable whatsoever, not for a person, not for a people and not for animals. But if the food item is still good as pet food, and it's a type of animal that you, you that you usually it's an animal that's domesticated, and you're responsible to feed them. So then that type of food, even though that you cannot eat it because it's 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 not edible for you, it won't be mukta as long as it's pet food. But it's as far as we know, potatoes, raw potatoes. It's not even used for animals. So some, I would say not some, uh, most of the police can actually say that a raw potato on Shabbos is actually muktzah. And because it's muktzah, you cannot, you cannot just move it around for no reason. It has to be a reason enough, maybe tzayach gufay, tzayach mekaymay, but it's, it's muktzah, so you have to know that even though it's, 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 it's the primary food item that people eat on Pesach, but Pesach, Shecholi, is Shabbos, the potato would be muktzah. A, a similar example that I see people, this, people discuss, oil. Oil, okay, you have many, ma- many purposes for oil. You could make salad, you could put it in the fire, you have a lot of things. How about certain oils that people do not use as, uh, as part of the cooking? They will not use this certain oil. I don't know exactly which one it is, but I saw the discussion. Certain oils are made specifically for fire, but it's not made. You cannot put it into your food. You don't. Most of the people, for health reasons. So the question becomes: If for health reasons, people don't use it, does it ma- does it become 
inedible so much that it's muktza, then you couldn't be able to touch it. I, I couldn't be able to move it around, Stamaze. If it's just really, you know, it's, it, it, if push comes to shove, it's something that you would use. It's just, it's not the first on the list because the, the government says it's not, the, the, the Surgeon General says it's not the most, most healthier thing. But the fact is people would drink it, would use it, would mix it, then it's not muktzah. An interesting comparison I see people bring to this is Nagelwasser. After you wake up in the morning, you wash the Nagelwasser, the Allah, what, what, the, what the Shulchan Aruch says is that water, is, shouldn't be, you shouldn't drink that water. You shouldn't drink that water because it's a Ruach Ra. A Ruach Ra, you spill it out. So the question is, if it's a Ruach Ra and you're not going to drink it and it's inedible, how are you allowed to move it? It's Muktza. It's not, it's not something... Ah! It's not in, in its in its metzius, in its essence, something bad. It's be due to the Ruach Ra that, that we don't drink it. That doesn't make it unusable completely, and therefore the Megalvasa you could talk a pour out. But anything like the potato, which it seems to be a very, very, very uncommon for anybody, any human, or any even every any pet to eat it as is, as raw, it has a din of muktzah.